Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial with Mr. Petromo. Today we're going to get started on our pixel art unit. So each of the grade levels you're going to have a different series of levels to work on and you're all going to start out with level one. For today I'm going to start out with a grade five level six. It has a few different colors to pick from and it was a nice starting ground for you. So the very first thing you're going to have to do is make a copy of the file for yourself. Everybody's locked out with the sharings so that I will be able to share it with the next group of fifth graders. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go to the file and go to make a copy. When you click that button, it's going to ask you for the name and then you can say OK and it's going to make you your own copy. And this time you will have the editing privileges of the file. So you'll be able to move around that heart. You'll be able to manipulate this cells and start coloring in your pixel art. So here is my brand new copy. Now, one thing you do have to get used to is grabbing the heart and moving it out of your way and grabbing the heart and moving it back into place because you'll want to see which cells need to be colored. Now, you'll notice that the curves are not going to fill in the entire square. So that's one thing you got to get in your mind right now. If, it, if the color fits the majority of the square, you should fill it in. When it doesn't fit the majority of the square, you should leave it empty. So we're going to start up here, and I'm going to go to the to very top of the heart, and I'm going to say J3, K3, L3, M3, and N3 all need to be colored in. So let's start with J3. Now, in order to do your pixel heart or your pixel art, what you have to do is click in that square and then find the color. And I want this to be red, so it is under the letter B. So the code for red is the letter B. I'm going to go back in my cell, and I'm going to type the letter B, and I'm going to hit Enter. When you hit Enter, the computer has conditional formatting that are going to change that cell to red, whatever letter you type in there. So this one is going to be B, B, and B. So now I'm going to move my heart back into position, and I can see that I might also want to color in N and I. So let me do that right now while I'm, so letter B and the N, B, there we go. So I have this top of my heart set. Also one tricky spot that you might have to get used to is dragging the heart around on a sheet. When it's unselected, you can't just click and drag. It'll go right back to where it is. Look at what's happening on my screen. It just goes right back to what to where it was. What you have to do is click once on it until you get the blue uh, surrounding, and then you'll be able to move the heart around on your worksheet. So now I'm going to put that back in place, and I'm going to find the top of the second half of the heart, and that is going to be in about A F. I'm thinking A F, A F, A G, A H, A I, and A J. So AF, you can always tell because it shades it a little bit different shade of gray. So I'm in AF, type that B in, B, B, B. Let's see if I need to do another one. Yes, I most certainly do need to do another two. So I'm going to go B, oops, make sure you click in that cell, type in the letter B and the letter B. So now I have the top row of my heart started, and I can start working down around the curves. Now, the curves are definitely the trickiest part, so you'll have to play with that, and it's not going to turn out to be a perfect curve of your heart. So you will see that I will need to do my second layer on my heart, and that I'm going to come over here. And if you notice, I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard to type in, to, to move the square around, arrow up, down, left, right, moves your square around, and then I'm rapidly clicking the B to make that red go into place. That's gonna change when I get down to my yellow. So I think I'm good, might need a little bit more. This is a tricky process and it's not something that you're gonna do within one sitting. So don't get it in your head that you're gonna be able to whip this out in five or 10 minutes. This is a nice, fun project, but it does take some time, and you'll pick up the trick in no time. 
And right here, I have started the top two pieces of my heart. And again, I'm gonna click on that, put it back into position and see if I need to expand the edges of my heart. But no, I think I'm really good to go. So um, that's the basic of this project. You can continue on at your own pace and just change to the yellow when you get down to the bottom part of the yellow until you have the entire thing recreated. And just keep moving that art, that heart in and out of your position and out of your way. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. It's been uh, a great fun, and I hope you enjoyed the pixel art project. Bye-bye.